uh, in the fall of 1994, I was a uh, first year uh, student and I was lucky enough to get slotted into your class, English 1080, a requisite course. And uh, you know, I just really loved coming to English. It was not what I thought I was going to end up focusing on, but throughout as the term went by and I enjoyed coming to your class more and more, loved seeing what you had to say that day. You were always in great mood, you always looked great in a great outfit. You know, I saw you at aerobics and I saw you at the Mon Cinema series. It was a whole multi-dimensional experience with you and it really helped. So when I uh, got my final paper back from you and I got an A and you said, I hope you're thinking of majoring English at the end. It was more of a statement than a question, even though you had that question mark there, because I was a biology major at the time and never really thought I was going to stick with English. I didn't see a career there. And uh, by the time I got to third year science uh, organic chemistry classes, I knew I had to follow your advice. Wow. You were quiet. You were really mm -hmm. quiet. And, you remember. Oh, absolutely. And I remember the good writers, certainly, because you're always, I think, as a teacher, uh, questioning um, the really fabulous writing and the insight you get from from students who are very quiet mm, because you cool. think oh I did, what was going on in that mind because you don't know you're trying to read your students that's right but um, especially in first year it is so hard I think that is the hardest thing I have ever done oh wow every first year class is a huge <laughs> challenge I love teaching senior level classes because of course you've got more experience and confident students mm. graduate students who are terrified but more confident in yeah. other ways. First year is really, really hard because you don't know what's going on. And as you said, it's a required course and students have to be there. Mm -hmm. They don't choose to be there necessarily. So you're already up against a resistance. And how you break that down is, I, I think, one of the hardest things that, that one has facing them. Well, you talked to us like you were one of us. We were all just having a chat, and you brought up, uh, of course, all of the literature references, but you were also you know, dropping pop culture references in there. You're talking about technology before any of us ever did. You know, it was just like a great time. That's what you try and do. I mean, I, you, you know, you learn as a student um, what works for you as a student mm -hmm. from a professor and what doesn't work. So you learn by the bad examples as much as the good ones. And all my best experiences of, of being a student were drawn from dynamic professors who t didn't talk down to us, mm -hmm. who understood the world we were in. I can't pretend, especially the older I get, <laughs> that I'm living in your headspace, right? <laughs> but I am interested in popular culture. I am interested in where you are. I, you know, it's really important to have as healthy and as natural conversation in the classroom as you would at maybe your best dinner parties. Oh yeah, I look and, forward you know, to coming to your class. Yeah, it's, it's about the talk, right? It's mm -hmm. about the exchange. And uh, I learned from those professors who, who related that way to us, who had a sense of intimacy with us, respected us, but were, were also maybe if not severe, critical in ways that were encouraging. Mm -hmm. And it's that balance of constructive criticism and being realistic um, with what students' abilities are, their limits, and their own potential. That you're constantly juggling. You can't take anything, any of that for granted. And again, in first year, man, that is so hard. So it's it's humbling hearing this from you. Let me tell you, very rewarding. Well, you know, I have those cartoon stars in my eyes when I look at you. Still, I still always want to like Aww. please you. And I wrote a story for the school graduate studies the other day, and I'm. You know, working here at the university as a writer, and I couldn't be happier. Well, it's a fantasy for me, too, I tell you, to have a student who was so good and such a great thinker and writer to be kind of working in my world and to following her own career path that way. I mean, it, it just couldn't be any better. Well, you were instrumental. I thank you. Thank you.